think we got there about 11ish. Um, the door was locked, so I'm obviously we use a key from underneath the recycling bin. Got in. Um, heard music upstairs. Machine Becky had been in then. Mm. Um, I went into the kitchen to get a cigarette and went to go outside to have a cigarette. My daughter started whinging because she wanted to come up with me, so I took her down to the garden to help feed the rabbit while I had a cigarette. Um, probably was about 15, 20 minutes. Um, then we came back up. I went into the kitchen to get a drink. I think I was washing my hands. Mm -hmm. Then I heard the front door slam. Um, carried on washing my hands, went into the living room. And then I think it wasn't until a lot later on that Angie asked me if Becky had gone out. And I said, yeah, I heard the door go. She must have gone out earlier. Washing my hands, I think. I heard the door slam. Uh. Front door. Um, again, I didn't look at the time or think anything of it, so I didn't really kind of like, oh, what was that? It, just, it was just the door, so I, Becky would have gone out. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I think I've, I've accidentally got this in the wrong order here. Okay. You can help to clarify this. So, right, let me just go back slightly then, yep. if I could. The door slamming then, um, you've already said you, uh, you've you got to go from the kitchen through to the living room. Yep. So, uh, how far away from that front door would you have been? Um, but, you've got the front door living room and about halfway up the hallway hmm. is the kitchen. Hmm. So I would have been at the sink. So a no distance, <laughs> a reasonable amount, yeah. I'd say. Okay. And immediately before this sound of the door slamming, what could you hear then? Um, I think it was just CBBS again, to be honest. I was kind of more, you know, trying to make sure I had vitamins back and getting my drink. Yeah. Um, no, I heard stomping down the stairs. Cause that's what made me think that Becky had left in a mood. So I said to Angie, because obviously the door slammed, but I wasn't sure if that was the wind. Mm. I took it because there was like quite stomp, stomp, stomp down the stairs. I assumed, you know, she was in a bit of one of her tantrums. <laughs> yeah. Very confused, you know. At that point, she started to get quite concerned that her boyfriend and like, her best friend hadn't heard from her. Um, I think she went through to ring her again after that. I think we went to ring her and it went straight to voicemail. Um, and then I think it was probably about three o'clock. I'm going to think. Um, Angie rang Darren and said, you know, Becky's still not home. Nobody's heard from her. I can't get through to her. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting quite concerned. Darren said that when he gets home from work, she went in peace. Um, I did check online for Andrew to see how long someone has to be like, you know, missing before you can report it kind of thing. Um, and it said obviously you have to wait 24 hours, but because she's a minor as well. So Darren came home early that day. Um, I think he came home about four, it was about an hour and a half earlier. Mm. 